In Revelation 4, John has described the throne of God and the elders and living creatures around it. They praise him as holy, 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 the one who has all power. And then John describes what they do in verse 9. Whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne. What does it mean that these living creatures give glory to God? Doesn't he already have enough glory? Oh, of course he does. What it means here is that they are acknowledging his glory. Their words and actions say that he is glorious. That's part of his nature as intrinsically good and beautiful. Uh, they give him honor, saying that he is to be respected. And they give him thanks in response to his relationship to them. They, he has given them life and love. Everything good comes from him. And the 24 elders fall down before him and lay their crowns before the throne of God. When Rome conquered a territory, the defeated king might lay his crown down before a representative of Rome. Here, you can have it, the action says. You can rule. It's a picture of worship, of obedience, of recognizing his greater authority. Here, the elders have crowns themselves, signifying some sort of rule, but it's all under the superior authority that God has. And it's not just in their actions, it's also in their words. They say, verse 11, you are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will, they were created and have their being. This picture of worship in the heavenly realms is a great example for us today. What actions do we have that acknowledge God's glory and give him honor and thanks? What words do we use to say that he is worthy of all our allegiance? How do we lay our crowns down before the throne of him who lives forever and ever.